Hey guys, I'm Super from the San Francisco Shock, and I'm here to answer your questions from the Twitch Overwatch All Access Pass. So, first question from Gel MTS13: How does Brigitte affect your role specifically going into the new meta? Uh, well, you see, you can't really play Winston with Brigitte because you kind of just get stunned and stunned, and you can't play the game. So, I don't think Winston's going to be very fun. I'm not going to have fun, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Another question from <laughs> Zonaseria. How are you going to approach, approach stage four with the drastic change of meta? Or do you think people will not use dive counters throughout stage four? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think Winston's gonna kind of take a hit because of, like I said, Brigitte kind of making it uh, not fun or possible to play the game. <laughs> so I think you'll probably see more uh, tank heavy comps on maps that are close quarters, especially because uh, King's Row is in the map pool next stage, so you'll probably see slightly more tank comps, but on maps such as Gibraltar, um, you'll definitely see more, uh, still see dive because that's just the way the map goes. Um, question from Daily188. How did you come up with the name Super? So, uh, a long time ago, about 14-ish years ago, uh, there was a game that I used to play, or my brother used to play, called RuneScape. And uh, I always wanted an account, so I had him make an account for me. And it was Super 757, but then at some point I just cut off the numbers and never bothered to change the name. Um, so yeah, basically my brother gave it to me. <clears throat> Question from Aramis8. Super, is there anything you missed from the East Coast, and more importantly, Philly itself? Um, well, I don't see my family, uh, my friends, uh, so I, I miss them. Uh, but there's really a lot of good food, especially the Philly cheesesteaks. Because, like, people say they make Philly cheesesteaks, but, see, okay, the secret is the bread. Because if you don't have good bread, it's, like, either too hard or it's, like, it's just nasty. So you, you got to make sure you get the bread right when you're making the Philly cheesesteaks. That's probably, uh, other than family and friends, that's that's what we're looking for there. Um, the Doc Potter asks, how do you feel that Brigitte will a impact the meta in Overwatch League? Uh, yeah, kind of like I said, Winston, he, I'm not feeling Winston, uh, but Reinhardt, like I said, play more, King's Row, maps like Gibraltar, um, Winston will still be played just because of the verticality and the, the mobility that you need on the map, um, yeah. Uh, Latula Pyrope 1 asks, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um... Probably, uh, I'll say flying because I don't know. I just think it would be fun, honestly. Yeah, probably flying. Um, Squishy Fishy Gaming asks, "What is your one best tip for playing main tank?" Uh, f I think no matter if you're playing Winston or Risa or, or uh, Reinhardt. Um, you always have to communicate with your team and tell them what you're doing, even if you don't get communication back or, or you're having trouble seeing what they want to do. As long as you tell them what you're doing, uh, so you say, oh, I'm going on the back line in three, two, one, uh, and then you go, it just lets your team know that, that you're going in and they can try and support you in any way they can. So a lot, because a lot about main tank is, is having um, reliance on your team and being able to support you in the space you create. So if you talk to them, they should be able to um, help you with that. Um, Complete Circuit 3 asks, because you recently turned 18 a month ago, how was it coming in with Sinatra so late within the season? Um, so me and Sinatra were in the dugout for every game. Well, he was the first 18 games, I was the first 20. Uh, so me and him just got to talk a lot, and we became pretty good friends because we were always in the dugout, always watching games. Um, we started scrimming around the same time, so basically we had the same schedule before uh, we started playing, and then... Um, when we started playing. So I think it was just a lot to take in, especially in my first game, but, uh, you know, it was a good experience. Uh, next question is from Start Smalls. What is your favorite home-cooked meal? Ooh. Mm. So I think I have a few. Um, my dad, he makes, or no, my mom makes really good meatloaf. Like, really good meatloaf. But my dad, he also makes, like, 
really good fried fish. I don't know what it is. He gets like some store bought batter and then he, he fries it. Um, and it gets like crispy potato. <sighs> some really good stuff. Um, next question from Benio Boy. Shock has players from many different countries all around the world. How is understanding the others going for you so far? Um, so everyone on the team uh, speaks completely fluent English except for Architect and Choyobin. Uh, so I have no problem understanding them. And the only thing with Architect is when we calm in game, we have to like try and simplify uh, comms the best that we can so that he understands it and that we can he can help us and we can help him. Um, but other than that, everyone speaks perfect English, so there's no real issues there. Um, Alter Sidus asks, which team gives the shock the most trouble to go up against? Um, I think it would probably be London because their DPS duo are really good. Well, everyone on the team is really good. Gesture, he's a really great Winston. He always finds a way to get on your backline without taking too much poke. Their DPS, their star players, Prophet, Bird Ring, Hureg, they're all really good. Um, so I would say probably London. Um, next question is from PSN Alistair Kane. What other player do you learn the most from watching them play? Um, I think probably Gesture, because I, I think his decision-making on Winston is, like, next to none. And he just always knows what he's doing, like I said. Um, doesn't take poke when he engages, knows when to engage, where to engage from. Um, I do think that Fissure has a beat on Winston Ults because Fissure literally, like, he never misses a beat or a juggle with his um, his Winston Ults. I don't know how he does it. He's a god. But as a as a f pure game understanding standpoint, I would say probably Jester. Um, next, next question is from Disliking. How do you feel about my performance so far in the Overwatch League? So I've had some pretty bad matches. I think, and I've had some pretty good ones. Uh, so it was pretty inconsistent so far. Um, like, my match against Gladiators, I think I did really well. I think I did pretty well today, too, against Outlaws. Um, but then there's some matches where I just don't play well. I make bad decision-making. So I think it's okay, but I do want to obviously improve. Um, I think it's been... it's been I've been doing pretty well, considering I started scrimming uh, so late into the season, whereas other teams and players have had times to gel with their team. But... Um, yeah, I th it's okay, basically. Uh, Saber Nero asks, how has your day-to-day -day life changed since joining OWL? So before, like, when I found out that I was joining high school, or, whoa, <laughs> joining Overwatch League, I started taking online high school. Um, and so I dropped out of regular school, took online high school, which I'm still doing. But um, So basically, I, I wake up, I scrim for about, six to eight hours with VOD reviews. Uh, I go back home. I maybe play some more Overwatch or other games, and then I try and do homework. So uh, it's a pretty packed day, but, uh, you know, I enjoy it. So it's busy. Um, next question from James McLaughlin, 1995. We've seen you flex the Zenyatta in Junkertown. How did you pick him up? So this is from Ranked, basically. On my, on my alt, alt account, um... I play ranked, and then I, I kind of just fill in that account. And I realized that when I was playing, there's, like, or when I was playing at least, there weren't many, like, Zen players that I was getting. Uh, so I was just like, all right, I'll just start playing Zen, um, see how it goes, and I just, I don't know. I haven't done that well in Zen in Overwatch League, but I think I do well outside of it, so maybe I'm just a match choker. Who knows? Um, unlucky. <laughs> Next question is from Deadly Kitten Zero. Who was your favorite Overwatch hero based on their backstory? Um, well, I'm kind of a lore master. I don't know if, how many people know that about me. Um, but I think it would probably be Widowmakers because, you know, she was she was married to the, um, I forget the guy, but then she was kidnapped, brainwashed, they caught her back, they thought she was good, and then she just killed her husband. So, you know, that's cool stuff. Um, next question is from the Lynn Wick. Which teammate makes you laugh the most? Um, so I think that would probably be Dak 
but Dante is like really stupid. You know what I mean? Like the, he, he's that friend where you know you love him, but he's just kind of dumb, you know. And he he does dumb things. So it's a tie between those two. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next question is from Breezy O W. Who's your favorite teammate to hang out with, play with, or just talk to, and why? Um, it's a hard one. I think it would probably just be Dante because he's my roommate. Um, so I'm with him all day at scrims, and then we go home together. I see him in my apartment all day when I go when we're at home. So because um, you know, Dante's a really chill guy. Uh, he he's not annoying. Like I said, he's kind of stupid though, so yeah, got to deal with that sometimes. But um, I like Dante. Um, Bubby Zero asks, "What are some tips for Winston for starters?" Um, I think the thing about Winston is you want to not use your cooldowns unless you're trying to engage. So, for example, if you're trying to walk in to a let's say Numbani first, uh, and you want to get on their back line. You want to try to not use your bubble or any cooldowns while while getting in because if you have to use your bubble before you actually initiate your jump, you're gonna just end up dying because you don't have your Winston to protect you. Um, also, communication, like I said earlier, is a big big thing for for main tank because uh, telling your team what you're doing is extremely important. Um, and just trying trying to focus not on on tanks as much, but killing the squishies. Um, so basically, their backline um, because they have less health and they don't have armor like Winston and D.Va and most of the tanks do because Winston Taser against armor does not do any damage um, because armor just naturally negates the damage. So try to focus on those three things and um, try and work from there. And T.S. Michael 17 asks, what's your favorite part about being a player in Overwatch League? Um, I think I'm friends with... Uh, a lot of players so or like before the Overwatch League I was friends with a lot of players um and then you know finally getting getting to see everyone here at the at the facility uh because we all scrim here um so it's nice to just see that everyone's you know friend friendly for the most part people enjoy talking to each other um so just being able to, to see everyone is probably um my favorite part and um yeah that's it so um Thank you guys for tuning in to my All Access Pass AMA. Um, take care.